I'm in St. John, Washington today. I'm with Michael and Chris, and we're out in the uh, Palouse area uh, trying to photograph the harvest that's already been harvested uh, due to the dry weather they've had. So we've taken a few minutes and we've stopped in a small park, and I wanted to talk briefly about a new camera from Sony. Sony's got a lot of new cameras, but the camera I'm talking about in particular is the Sony RX100 IV. Uh, it's a very small pocket camera. I'm going to name this Little Big Camera. Named after one of my favorite movies, Little Big Man, but this is a little camera with a big attitude. Let me show you a little bit about this camera. First off, you can see that it fits in the palm of my hand. It's very small. Uh, it's pocketable, at least for guys with big jean pockets and so forth. Um, it, for many people, will replace the iPhone as the camera they have with them all the time. If you're familiar with Sony cameras, it operates very much the same way, menu-wise and so forth, but let me show you some of the outstanding little features on the outside. To power the camera up, we're just going to push the top button here, and that powers it up and the lens extends. It's got an equivalent lens of 24 to 70 millimeters, so it's not a large reach, but it's a normal reach and a very usable reach. Um, it works very, very nicely that way. There's a zoom lever, wide telephoto, control knob, on the top for determining what mode you'd like to have as far as shutter priority, uh, P, uh, aperture priority, uh, panorama mode, auto mode, and it has a really unique feature which is um, a high frame rate mode. Uh, it can record up to 960 frames per second. That's pretty super slow motion and we'll talk about that uh, in the review, but uh, it's got a lot of capabilities for such a small camera. It also has a flash, so by just a simple lever like this, the flash lever pops up. And what really makes this unique that you don't find in very many small cameras is a pop-up viewfinder. So I would just slide the little switch down here and press that up. And my viewfinder pops up and you pull out the rest of it. And now I can look through the viewfinder and have all the things that I like with my little camera. So it's a very big little camera that can do. There is a little problem with it though, at least for guys like myself with big hands. It's very hard to hold on to. I bought an optional grip which at least allows me to grip hold of the camera a little bit better. And the problem I have though is that when my thumb comes to rest, I end up making a lot of movies. And uh, that's kind of a hard thing to do. So you have to kind of get used to the fact that your big thumbs, big hands are going to end up uh, pushing a lot of buttons on the back here. As you can see, I just pushed the button and uh, sent this thing into a Tilly. Uh, there's a function quick menu, which is very nice. You can very quickly uh, pick the functions that you'd want to use, and it is capable of doing some magnificent photographs. The images I've taken off of this are really very, very super. There are sample files in the uh, report that accompanies this video. And if you're going to be looking for a camera, it's $1,000. There are three versions before this which are cheaper and pretty much have the same capability except they don't have the new backlit stacked chip and they don't have 4K capability. Also the viewfinder is a little higher resolution on the 4 than was on the previous models. So you can make a choice based upon your price tag but if you're looking for a camera that's all purpose, really does a nice job, fits in your pocket and is a marvel for engineering with 4K video capability then I highly recommend this Sony RX100 Model 4. I certainly use it a lot. I've uh, taken it from New York to uh, Washington and places in between, as you can see from the article, and it's actually served me very, very well. It has all the features that you'd expect. Uh, you can do bracketing, uh, high ISO capabilities, and all sorts of things. Read about it in the article, but if you'd like a camera, this is one of the nicest ones I've ever found that I've been able to put in my pocket and take anywhere with me. Thanks very much, and I'll see you on the Lunas Landscape.